Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this series where I cast your games. And today, we are casting what I would call a autofill prodigy. A real prodigy of this game because on his most played champion, he has 71 games played. Or 72 maybe. On his second most played champion, he has one game less played. On his third most champion, one game less played, and the list continues. What I'm trying to say is, you can put this guy on anything, and he will make sure to carry your ass in the game. With more than 800 games played this season already, is dominating Platinum Elo. The guy I'm talking about, and the guy we are casting today, from downtown Paris, looking to give us a masterclass. The Zwa Raclette. And yes, I'm not French, but I'm pretty convinced that's the exact way a French guy would pronounce that name. The Shivana here from Blue Team, The Zwa Raclette, in the jungle, looking to show us a pop-off game and how to play the broken Season 12 champion. That is Shivana, if you ask me at least. Well, yeah, that is the guy we are casting today. Uh, going up against a Rengar, which is a pretty decent matchup for, for Shivana at least. Rengar not looking to be that aggressive early game. Gives Shivana some time to, to scale up because Shivana, obviously, you have very, very clear, very, very fast clear, and just looking to get a lot of camps done, get some gold, maybe a couple of easy ganks if, if you find some easy kills. Um, which there's great opportunity for if you are Shivan this game. You have good setup both in top lane with Pantheon, has the point and clicks done, and then you have the, obviously Leo one in the bot lane who will sometimes have the center blade available to her as she just used here. As Jin follows up with the Deadly Burst, they stun. CB, I think she will manage to escape Flash Ignite, and what about the Siri heals? But will go down to the fourth shot from Jin. Another center blade now coming off. Cooldown used again on Victor and will be a second kill for the blue team. Doesn't look like Jin misses the deadly first. Will maybe be one for one. Ignite the, the uh, Leona but a flash is also used to escape. Almost trading the kill here for Victor. Oof. When Jin flashes forward, lands a fourth shot and again with the deadly first last hits the red team support. However, at the other side of the map, the Gnar Actually, turret dives. Pantheon level three. Looks like he will go down here. Doesn't have the flash available to him, and that should be our the first kill for protagonist. Maybe not. Pops the ghost. Let's see if this Wara Clash can get a kill for him. Since only three, three minutes into the game, playing Shivan, that just goes for great scaling. He will just take him down. And again, just Shivana, the late of the game goes, will just be so obnoxious to play against because we'll we will probably go full tank. Uh, or at least off tank, maybe some AP in there. Could also go AD. That's it. That's the great thing about Shivana. You can build pretty much anything you want. Uh, but the fact of the matter is, the later the game goes, he will get more tank whenever he pops his ultimate, the Dragon's Descent, and those E's uh, from Shivana, the Flame Breath, I think it's called, just hurt so much when you stand in them. So yeah, an early kill. 21 CS. Down a couple of camps from uh, compared to Rengar, but does have the kill to his name, so I think he's good to go uh, right now. Looking at the mid lane, it is a Kiana into a Heimerdinger, and that should spill a rough time for Kiana. Well, let's see what happens here. Rengar has made his way down into the bottom. We have to remember there's no flash on the blue, blue side ADC, and that will be a kill for Rengar, and also a shutdown already. Taking down the blue team AD carry, who got the two kills before? The little skirmish we saw in the bot lane a minute or two ago. So, picks up a great shutdown there. Also, a good play from this Rengar capitalizing on the fact that Blue Team did not have any vision and they still look for the 2 versus 2 fight in the bot lane. Let's see. Leon here pulls a wave towards her. I have no idea how she's actually allowed to do this. But okay. She does so. And that way. Jin will not miss that much CS. But yeah, again, talking about the mid lane. Kiana, very tough going into a Heimerdinger. Melee champions, again, into Heimerdinger, just sucks because you're playing against turrets, you're playing against his 
Hex take rockets all the time, he has them uh, off cooldown, his grenade, you're also playing again, he's just looking to poke you down. You can't really gank the Heimerding either, because usually what happens, let's see what happens here in the top lane, as Rengar lands the bow strike on the paint, the Pantheon stuns the Rengar though, but will go down eventually, Rengar gets his second kill of the game. The game starts to look pretty good for this Rengar. But they will still get the first plate of the game, I think it is. And backs away. So yeah, really good stuff for Rengar. Now Rengar being down a couple of uh, camps. But the CS, we see a four main turret dive in the bot lane. Leona saved with the heal. I didn't quite see... I didn't quite saw what, uh, what happened or see. I didn't see what happened. You know what I mean. Four main bot lane from the from blue team. Not a chance for CBL or, uh, or uh, Victor here. But yeah, going back to the mid lane as we talked about before, what usually happens in a Heimdinger versus a melee matchup, Heimdinger will keep poking out the melee, uh, the melee player, just out CSing him, forcing him not to get all the CS. As we see here, and every time he gets ganked, he has his turret available to him. But let's see what happens here. We'll just walk away from Shivana, use the Dragon's Ascent, anti flame breath. Not the greatest gank, but it, it, it is just tough to gank a Heimerdinger because usually he has all the pressure on the lanes. He's standing exactly where he wants to, uh, allowing him to have a better path of escaping. Once again, Rengar is in the top lane with the Thrill of the Hunt, takes down Pantheon. Pantheon running, starting to run it a bit down right now. Down 20 CS, now 3 kills for the red team jungler. And Rengar could look to take over this game. There's a lot of juicy targets, or at least a couple in terms of he can take down the Jin, Kiana, and even look for Shivana with the one shots uh, because he will get his items fast. We are maybe seeing a first item dusk play for Rengar in just maybe a couple of minutes. We'll have to see how much gold he has whenever he goes back next time. But uh, definitely a good start for the red team jungle here. He'll probably look to help down his uh, help out his bot lane a bit more. Uh, looking a bit rough with the CFV, also because you're playing an untraditional support pick in Victor, so you want to get some gold onto him so that he can scale. Otherwise, I'm not sure you will, he will offer that much. Uh, the only CC Victor has available to him is the Gravity Field. Let's see what happens here. Pantheon flashes the wall, but so does Gnar. Doesn't look like Winger, or uh, I should say, um, doesn't look like Pantheon will take down the Gnar, but okay. It is a flash flash. I think at this point it's at least worth for for Pantheon, unless Rengar once again comes back and visits this top lane, as he has done a couple of times before already. But yeah, 9 minutes in, Gnar goes in with the Mega Gnar. Pantheon, however, shields a lot of damage and decides to back away. He doesn't have that much mana available to his name, so maybe that's why Pantheon didn't look for the old name. was a kind of risky play for, for Gnar, but both top lanes escape. It looks safe. For now, but yeah, nine minutes into the game, the team score is five to four. Goal lead, or the goal is completely even, I should rather say. And let's see, Renka here is shoved into the, into the uh, wall with the supreme display of talent, but still takes down Kiana with the help of Heimerdinger. I actually think that Heimerdinger got the kill. He did with the grenade. So yeah, again, so far. I mean, I know that I said that we were going to see a real jungle diff from our protagonist, this Zwa Raclette. But Rengar really doing a good job in this uh, isolated matchup, Rengar versus the Shivana. Let's see, Shivana may be looking for a ultimate here over the wall from Raptors. Will not go for it though. Okay. And some push control here in the bot lane. 
Leona may be looking for a good Synth Blade angle. And I just want to point out the fact that blue team in the bot lane here, they don't really have good vision. They have ward in their own tri-bush, but no vision from River. So unless they are 100% sure that Rengar is topside, they should not go for this play. They just push in the wave. And looks like they will reset again with the honor. Five recall we saw to uh, Jin. Pretty cringe if you ask me, but okay. Oof. Good counter jungle here. Rengar gets a blue buff, but it looks like he's out of his depth. Pop the thrill of the hunt. And here is Heimerdinger also with the mini rockets. You see Rengar here flashes away, but is taken down with the audacity. Dashes into Rengar, takes him down Kiana. And that's 300 gold bounty, which means 600 gold going over to the blue team mid laner here. And that's great when you play against Heimerdinger and you have a rough lane. Two kills now for Kiana. And I mean, that kind of makes up for the fact that he's uh, down. 16, 17, 18 minions in this mid lane uh, and doesn't have any pressure. He's just getting these kills thrown into him. A kind of overstep from Rengar, who has also picked up the Yumu's Ghost Blade as his first item. So he's looking to snowball. Not quite sure. I think that's the uh, the right decision to go for when you just threw a pretty big lead you have. Shivana getting those dragon stacks down already. Second dragon, <laughs> second Drake of the game, I should rather say. Solar Flare is popped onto Rengar, just come back, came back from Fountain and Shivana gets an Elkin. Now we're starting to see the jungle diff here from the blue team uh, jungler. This Wap Maglet with some good help from his support. Once again going into or uh, engaging onto Victor with the center plate. Deadly Flourish also lands, but they will not commit to the turret dive. And yeah, I think Rengar's kind of thrown his lead or to be fair he has thrown his lead quite a lot with the invade he made on blue buff uh, so we'll have to see what happens here oh this should be a dive because the turret will be gone now with the help of herald the only is in a good position lands the solo flare but victor flashes away to deny the connection uh, with the solo flare so no kills will happen for now in the bot lane but a great use of the herald taking down the first turret of the game for blue team and it's now a one one and a half K gold lead. Pretty much all coming from this jungle bot lane synergy that we've seen in the last couple of minutes from Blue Team. And we also have to point out that our protagonist has completely made a comeback in this lane. Now picked up his mythic, picked up the giant build, is level nine and does have the ultimate available to him, so he can go straight out on the map again and look for, for look for a play. Should probably follow. Leona here because it's great synergy with all the CC that Leona offers. Pantheon though is making his way down to the bot lane together with Kiana. Maybe looking for a collapse onto the Sivir. Does have the Grand Starfall available to him but I don't think that's what he's going to do. Instead I think blue team they swap lanes. They've already got the, the first turn of the game in the bot lane. So now they put their bot lane in the top two. Get some plays up there. Or at least you get the turret because the place will disappear in 20 seconds, so we'll probably not get a lot of those. But yeah, we are seeing a hex take so which is why you see Shivana now in the enemy jungle took the hex take from her own blue blue buff to the enemy team top side jungle. And the dragon ascent has been used. We have to see that Gnar has turned to Mega now. What about Leona here? Is hit with the Gnar ultimate? But the supreme display of talent comes in and takes down Rengar once again. One for one so far. Oof. Our protagonist snipes with the flame breath. Takes down Gnar. That's a two for one for blue team here. What about in the bot lane with the spear connect to CVN? That's three kills now for blue team. Split out on the map. Pantheon making a bit of a comeback here against the CVN. And again, that's just what happens when a top laner goes up against an ADC. Sometimes. It's understandable why ADC players they cry all the time, right? Because you go up, you have a you are 100 CS Sevilla with one mythic going up against a zero and three top lane and just wins a trade. Oh, let's see. Yeah, Jin goes in. Is exhausted, but only after he kills Victor. And that's just a free kill with the Gale. But once again, Rengar. All oh, game is starting to look so rough. But will Rengar maybe get the kill on the Pantheon? Have to see rest my Pantheon. Will also take him down, will be a 1 for 1, the red smite secures the kill for Rengar, so... Was 4 kills in a row for Rengar. Luckily, 
is red smite meant to take down uh, take down Painton. Otherwise, whew, the game is starting to look rough. Get a bit of a break here as both teams just came from recalls. But yeah, next objective should be the Drake spawning here in about a minute or so. Blue team obviously also have the dragon as the win condition. Already two Drakes up, only 16 minutes into the game. The third one about to spawn. In just a moment here. Oh, and let's see what happens here. Kiana forces the stopwatch from Hammerdinger. Doesn't man oh doesn't stay trying to get the kill. And I guess that is because the Supreme display of Salem wasn't cool down. Actually it wasn't, but decides to back off and here is Renga with the thrill of the hunt flies to wait and Supreme Display of Talent lands onto Renga, flies under the turret, will be one for one, I think. Victor will get the kill with the Kiel it is a 1 for 1 trade, but the blue team... Kian takes down Ringo, which should mean that the next red Kiel should go for two over 2 blue team, but instead Shivana has made her way to the top lane. It should be a dragon, because that's your win condition right now. Okay, pops the dragon's descent. What about the flame breath? Will probably be used right now onto Kian. Ooh, misses the flame breath, which is still looking to die. And backs away. Probably a wise decision because now almost has to make another available to him. But yeah, blue team it still looks like they will get the dragon. Sivir and Heimdinger is making their way down there, but I think it's just a tiny bit too late. Yeah, blue team, they will get the dragon, luckily for Shivana, even though he wasn't there. On the hunt has been used by Sivir, and that's a great Gnar from. Megana taken down Jin and that's a shutdown also of Knar. And yeah, 1k goal lead so far for Blue Team, not much, but again, there is the Hex Tech Soul, now Soul Point. One break to go. And that's just such a good win condition. Also because none of these teams have particular insane scaling. Sivia is a really great scaler as we see her die right now to Shivana and uh, Pantheon. But other than that, we have Sivir, we have at least to some degree Shivana also scales really good. I don't think she is a insane late game carry, but long into the game she has immense power. As we see right now in a 1 versus 2 pop track descent. Uh, misses, but with the Mega Gnar, takes down Gnar though, and also takes down Vita in a 1 versus 2, and yeah, it's pretty weak. We can on Victor at this point, but it's still a 1 versus 2. At the same time, Kiana takes down, takes down Heimding, and that's another 3 kills of Blue Team. Starting to really get the tempo of this game. And Red Team looking a bit uh, confused in their pathing, I should say, right now. Just losing grip of the game. 3k behind now, 18 minutes in. And we have to, we really have to give props to uh, our protagonist, this war, Raclette. Really forcing this place, taking the Hextech uh, by using, utilizing the Hextech gates, going from those, his own jungle into the enemy team jungle, because he knows he is so strong right now. So, just great utilization of these Hextech gates. Um, but again, that's the kind of player we're dealing with. You can put him in every situation and he knows how to play them. We have there. Rift Hell is used in the mid lane. Sivir trying to clear it for some reason. Standing a bit too far up the lane, but okay, no one will go down. Rift Hell will get his charge up in the mid lane, but I don't think they took down the tier 2 turret. I have to remember that now Shivana's ultimate is just about to come up. It now has the drag descent available to him. But yeah, the good thing for Red Team here is they have a lot of good wave clear with Sivir, his uh, her boom lane blade, and also, Heimding has very good great player with the Hextech Micro, Rockets and the Grenade. But yeah, and there, obviously, on top of that you have Victor's support also up with some great wave clear. So, Red Team, they have, they have some way to try and scale and just wave clear. The problem is, eventually, not many minutes from now, we will see 
fourth break of the game spawning. And the problem is I think red team they have to contest. I mean there is a win condition which is Renga here pops to of the hunt, I think, going into Kiana, but lose the one versus one two. The Kiana used the Supreme Display of Talent to take down the red team jungler. Yeah, game just looking rough for this Renga. What's up 4-0, I think, maybe 3 0 only, but yeah. It ends up being a 1 for 1 though, with the help of this mid laner, Renga and Heimdinger, they take down Kiana. Let's see here, Leona a bit caught alone, now split from his team. Here is Red Team, they approach the Baron, but Shivana takes it down with the smite, they completely blow up, blow up Victor and center plate lands on Heimdinger. Will they chase her? Who couldn't call this used to miss the first jump, but I think the second one landed or connected on to Heimdinger. Don't think we will see any more kills. Blue Team, they get the Baron, they get Victor. What about Heimdinger? Heimdinger blows up Pantheon, but. Jin with the help of the game pool takes down Hamling and that's another one for one, maybe two for two, I think we'd say in this trade, but here's Rengar picks it up his, his fifth kill of the game with the thrill of the hunt. And what now? This Jin looks a bit cold out here between a Rengar and a Gnar. Will probably go down. Rengar used to push. Okay, Deadly Flourish misses, but Gnar is here. Flash is being used and Gnar doesn't have flash to chase him, so. Jin will actually get out scot free here, it looks like. Has to burn both his summoners. But. I mean, make, make the red team use a lot of time, right? Sia will get the tier 2 mid turret here, but here's Shivana with the Drang Descent. Flame Blade, uh, Blade, Flame Breath. Will not take down Tibia. <laughs> Instead, in comes Pantheon with the Grand Starfall. Doesn't even need to land, Com just connects the, the little dot that you have that actually deals damage before you land. Oof, and that's a case if I've ever seen one from Giovanna here. It should be the fourth break of the game and soul for blue team here. Yeah, that is soul here as Jin connects the little and takes down Knob with another another auto attack. I mean at this point red team looks like you've given up. I think it's time to press the FF button. Down 11 kills. Only 4k, but just the fights look so disconnected. You're now down soul also, and we have to remember this hex tech soul is just so incredibly strong. Yeah, blue team, they can just spread and dive as they're doing right now. They're standing in front, looking to connect the center plate onto some of the targets here. They're playing a bit too far forward. Yeah, they take down the first inhibitor of the game. Bird of the Hunt has been used by Rengar. We will see if he decides to jump onto Leona. He does so. Oof! The solo player used on top of himself, but still goes down. Peter blesses forward. Actually takes down Jin. That's been a cool shutdown. Will also go down himself too. I think it maybe was a fall show. Maybe just a lucky crit from Jin. But Red Team, they actually get a couple of kills here. However, however. However, 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 they lose their inhabitor. They lose the Dragon Soul. They are 5k down right now, and it's just. Ooh, it's rough right now, uh, Red Team. I just have to say that. And I guess, again, I, I've said it a couple of times before, I just have to point out Shivana, 7 0 and 6, really being the protagonist in this game. In the early games it looked like it would be a jungle diff going in the favor of Rengar, but a throw invade onto the enemy team's uh, blue buff and our protagonist being there to defend it and taking down the Rengar just threw him off his game and uh, made the jungle comeback possible for the blue team jungler here. The game is still going on, it's not lost yet. Blue team, the Baron should wear off, I think it's already it's already worn off and I mean it is only a 5k gold lead 25 minutes into the game. It's definitely doable to come back because blue, red team, you always have the win condition when you have the SCP. As the later the game goes, the stronger the zero will get. I just think you have to be so patient right now. You have to wait here for the next 20 minutes if you ever want a chance to win this game. But here's Ringo finds Jin, and that's a assassination if I've ever seen one. And it is a 2 versus 4 now on the mid lane. And the Supreme Display of Talent will take down Rengar. So it is a 2-1 right now for Red Team. A great little comeback here. 
but here's Giovanna with the Dragon Descent to take down Sibia and that should be an easy fight now for Blue Team. They will also take down Heimerdinger, goes down to Red Smite, I think. Now flashes away, but will go down to the Flame Breath and that is a ace for Blue Team now. And let's see the death time. The death time is 20 plus seconds. That's this should mean that blue team now they can march down mid lane they can take down both next turn and this should be game but we have to see they will eventually take down the first nexus turret here death time still says 10 seconds a 6k goalie let's see if they can do that and this this should be game yeah five seconds on victor so blue team they win the game off seconds ends with a 10 0 and 7 score going flawless in the game and i just have to say that's a character performance from shivana if i've ever seen one so, Zou, Zwa, Raclet, my man, I know how to pronounce your name, I'm completely sure about that. Thank you so much for letting me cast your game, and remember, if you want me to cast your game, feel free to comment down below. Until next time, see ya.